Step 5. Adding Material Parameters Before we can make the frame and the seating materials parametric, we have to add two new parameters to the object's parameter list. Click on the New button to create a new parameter. Enter frame underscore material to the variable field and note that this name will be used in the GDL script. It will not be displayed in the object settings dialog. Select the material parameter at the type field pop-up palette. This will enable you to select from the materials defined in the ARCHICAD file that is currently open. Enter frame material at the name field and note that this will be visible in the object settings dialog. Click on the pop-up button at the end of the parameter line and select WD Pine Horizontal from the material list. This will be the default material for the frame. Alternatively, you can also type 15 into the value field. Click on the New button to create another new parameter. Enter seating underscore material to the variable field. Select the material parameter at the type field pop-up palette. Select paint 01 from the material list for the default material of the seat. Alternatively, you can also enter 18 to the value field. Now we can open the 3D script, which describes the 3D model in GDL format. We have to modify the GDL code to use the newly created material parameters instead of the fixed material values stored in the script. Don't get frightened by the commands and numbers that you see in this script. You don't have to understand the meaning of this code at this stage. Simply browse the text with the slider and note that the WD Pine Horizontal and the Paint01 material descriptions appear in the script from time to time. These are the materials that we use to model the chair in the beginning. Now all we have to do is substitute them with the variable names of the new material parameters. Let's start by replacing WD Pine Horizontal to frame underscore material. Manual substitution would take some time, so let's activate the Find and Replace command from the Edit menu to do this automatically. Simply enter WD Pine Horizontal in the upper field, and please do not forget the quotation marks. Enter Frame underscore Material in the lower field. Finally, hit the Replace All button. Notice that all entries have been automatically replaced in a second. Let's continue to replace Paint01 to Seating underscore Material. Activate Find and Replace again. Enter Paint01 in the upper field and then Seating underscore Material to the lower field. And hit the Replace All button again to execute the replacement. Now the 3D script is using our custom parameters for material definitions. Let's test the result of the changes. Click on the 3D view button to see the object in the 3D window. Close the 3D view for a moment. Change the values of the material parameters. For example, let's change the material of the seating now by activating the material pop-up list and selecting the black paint 05 for the new color. Open the 3D view again and notice that the seat material is now black. Close the 3D view and save the last changes by activating the save command. Close the GDL master script window as well and return to the floor plan view. 
Notice that the floor plan symbol of the chair has been changed. Select the arrow tool from the toolbox and make sure that the quick selection method is activated. Move the cursor above the chair on the floor plan view and notice that it's possible to use the quick selection method. The cursor is changed to a magnet shape. Select the chair now and notice that selection hotspots are visible where we created hotspots earlier. Open the object settings dialog. Notice that the previously created chair preview image is also available in addition to other previews. At the Parameters tab page, the frame and the seating material has been added. You are free to change these materials from the material list. Notice that the 3D preview of the chair also immediately reflects the color of the new material. Let's leave this dialog now by hitting the Cancel button and leave the materials unchanged. Open the 3D view while still keeping the chair selected and review the new chair in 3D. You are free to use this new parametric GDL chair in any of your future design projects.